Hi class, I'm back in Minitab and I'm going to show you a little interesting thing that you can do in Minitab um, to kind of just add an extra piece of information to your scatter plot. I'm going to show you how to add a categorical variable to the scatter plot. So here's my original scatter plot of the NBA players height and weight that we looked at in the previous video. And we could see that there was a positive, linear, moderately strong relationship between height and weight. Now if I look back at my data set over here, I can see that there's other information in this data set. Um, we have the player's name, we have the player's position, we have the team that the player is from, and whether or not they made the playoff team. So what I want to do is I want to add one of these variables to the graph. So I'm going to look at this position variable. Um, and basically, it's going to be the same exact scatter plot. The difference is instead of just having a bunch of plain blue dots like we have right now, um, depending on the position, Minitab is going to give a different symbol. So there's forward, guard, and center. I think there's three different positions. And Minitab is going to give us a different symbol depending on the position. And occasionally, this can produce some interesting results. So let's go ahead and see what happens with the NBA player data. So I go back up, I'll get rid of this one for now. I go back up to the graphing menu. I'm going to choose scatter plot. This time I'm going to choose with groups. So I choose scatter plot with groups. Click on OK. I still enter in my Y and my X variables just like before. So Y was my weight and height um, was my X. Now the difference is underneath there's this box that says categorical variables for grouping. If I click inside that box, it will let me put in there the position. So I'm going to put position inside that box there. And I'm going to click on OK. And look what we have here. OK, so now uh, for people that were centers, it gave them the blue dots. Forwards have the red squares and guards have the green diamonds. And I think this is pretty interesting. You can see that the shorter players are the ones that are the guards. Um, the medium height players are the ones that are the forwards. And the centers, for the most part, are the taller players. You can see a couple of exceptions in this case. There's this point right over here, this red square. That one looks like a little shorter a uh, guy who's a forward there. And one another thing you can do in Minitab that's kind of interesting, if you right click on the graph and select brush, then you can highlight these points here. So I highlighted that point and notice this other little box up in the corner. It tells me that that point came from row 27. So if I shrink down this graph here and I come back to my data set, also in Minitab, it'll put a little marking right by that row. And we can find out that that forward, who's a little bit unusual for forwards, is Paul Pierce from the Nets. So that's a, another little interesting thing that you can do with scatter plots in Minitab.